Alright, so this is how we store e-snappies and as you can see it's not much it's just a makeshift um well basically a makeshift shoe rack and we just added up baskets and a few things just so we can have our organizer now this is how i do it i don't want i don't really like the ones with um closures or openings or doors because uh, i just want to make you know see the nappies right away and I can pick out which ones I like right away and um, this would also help in the hassle I'll show you why later on now I'm gonna go through each basket and I will be talking to you about a bit of our rotation and a bit of our techniques so maybe that would be help, um, helpful tips for you now the first basket here these are his overnight nappies or his overnight diapers now most of the time these are velcros and this comes with two inserts either microfiber hemp or bamboo combo or pure bamboo any of those combinations and um, the reason why they're velcros is because he actually knows how to how to take them off and it's just easy to take them off so when at night he sleeps so he doesn't really go out pick on this or like you know play with this and we have a pajama on him over this nappy so it will be um it won't be well it would be useful for us to use the velcros it's easy for it to change at night time especially when he's asleep we use this basically at 6 p.m to 6 a.m that's 12 hours and um so far these are random um these are random brands now this one are this one is happy honeys we have the coolest naps and the four uh these are hmm, baby wizards now what i do is come changing time i usually take this take one out first the the one nearest me is the one first so usually usually i use i just take this out and when i have a new nappy or a new um uh, wash nappy I just uh, by the way I store every diapers with inserts I just place them right up back so as you can see the cycle goes on so first in first out basis and um, this ones are his daytime nappies as well as down there we have random brands I always use or I always try a lot of brands and um, so far so good he is um, okay with all the brands that we are using except for a few mis mishaps like for example a few leakage because we weren't able to put on the snaps properly but everything is well done now we have here baby leaves these are Alba's uh, we have Bilsen Clue Bebe Pull Ups and then Alba 4.0 another Bilsen the Sun Baby two Alba's and what else Oh yeah, we have a happy bee and sun, another sun baby and um, I also have happy flute, what else, uh, baby land and baby leaf. Now, uh, most of the time this, this one basket gets for 10 nappies and this is enough for a day's use and sometimes when he doesn't really poop much, we just use 7 of it. Now, what I do is when the, let's say for example, this basket is empty, I just take this out and pull it down, down in the next level. So, and then this one, this one moves forward and this was, this one will be used again for the next day. So as you can see, it's a rotation. So just to make sure that each uh, nappy will have its equal share of wear and tear. Now this one here is, um, all right, the solution which I spray on East Bomb, I'm sorry, there's still a tag, I haven't taken out the sticker up. Then um, this one is just made out of water and a few drops of Aveeno. I just place water up to here, up to this level, and two drops of Aveeno. Sometimes I just use water to spray on his bum and um, it would be easier for me to, uh, like for his changing time, um, I just use this solution when he pees or when when he, he, he didn't really poop but when he poops he goes right across 
the comfort room and wash under running water and soap. And this one is uh, our cloth wipes and uh, this one's our flannels and some are uh, well washcloths basically. And what I do is I just spray and then wipe this, wipe it with this. This one is our uh, going out nappies. And this one are a bit pricey so I don't use it at day to day basis. Um, just so I can um, really use the, um, well, will not give it much wear and tear. And this are two, well, these are Grovias and it's in all in twos and snaps. Modia, which is our favorite, favorite nappy. And then this one is um, two all in ones, uh, Grovia all in ones. And this one are random net because I told you I need a lot of more um, I need I need more baskets for this uh, probably this weekend I'll be needing to buy new ones and there are incoming that piece also uh, in the next few weeks so yeah I need more space to store my nappies and this one basically are just microfiber inserts this one um, you know they have trifolds um, the pre-folds which I also use overnight and then we have the doublers and then the bamboo combination I store also my uh, this one what is this? CJ's butter this is a diaper rash cream and this one is in monkey farts honey patchouli and warm vanilla cake and this one also in key rash most of the time when E has really terrible rash I use both like I just um, swipe up or place a thin amount of CJ's butter on his rash and then place on top of it your rash and then, then by the next time we change his diapers uh, I wouldn't see any redness at all so it's very effective for us and um, well let me let let me point out that we don't have a changing table so I just have a comforter down there and uh, when I change his nappy I just place him on the comforter and then make sure that all the nappies and the things that I need will be in arm's reach that way it would be easier for us to change his diapers and um, especially when you're going to be uh, changing a wiggly baby you're gonna be struggling with a lot so you make sure that everything is within arm's reach so that it would be easier for you Alright, so um, I hope I was able to give you a few tips and I'm going to make another video for our favorite nappies later on or each brand that you use. So I hope that was a helpful video. Alright, bye-bye.